The American Heart Association created our 2020 impact goal because we recognize that although we have seen 40 consecutive years of reductions in death rates from cardiovascular disease and stroke, that the risks for heart disease and stroke are increasing. As a matter of fact, back in 2007, the American Heart Association's Board of Directors made a very bold decision, and that decision was to change the mission statement of the AHA from one focused on reducing death to a mission statement focused on promoting health and promoting life. And here's why this was an important change for the association. As background, only three other times in the history of the American Heart Association has our mission statement been changed. The recognition that the great work we've done in reducing death is just not sufficient for having a healthier population was what really drove the board to refocus our efforts and to make sure that we were holding ourselves accountable to creating a healthy environment for all. The work in changing the mission statement then led us to the recognition that we needed to define what is ideal cardiovascular health. Never before has that definition been vetted and published. So the American Heart Association scientists and volunteers worked for two years to come up with this concept of ideal cardiovascular health. And when they identified the seven health factors and health behaviors that were required for an individual to be an ideal cardiovascular health, we recognized at that moment that the work of the AHA to help move the population from poor health to intermediate health and intermediate to ideal health would be a monumental task and a monumental challenge. But we were up for the challenge. So we set our bold goal to improve the cardiovascular health of all Americans by 20% by the year 2020, while continuing to focus on reducing deaths by 20% during that same time period. And at the moment the new strategic impact goal was adopted, the American Heart Association began to take a hard look at all of the programs, products, services, advocacy platforms and other activities that we were engaged in to make sure our efforts were aligned, not only in maintaining our outstanding work in reducing deaths from heart disease and stroke, but focusing on empowering individuals to care about their health and to make positive changes to improve their health. We also, as I mentioned, talked about changing our advocacy platform and priorities because we recognize that changing the environment around people will be another critical way that we'll achieve our 2020 goal.